Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we'll be looking at how we can actually add different currency into SQL accounting. So before we begin, do like and subscribe to be notified when we release a new guide each week. So before we can add the new currency into SQL accounting, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have that module available. Alright, if you require this module, you can always contact your dealer or you can actually contact us if you need any additional help. Alright, okay. So once we actually activated that module, all you just need to do is come here to tools here, come here to maintain currency. Alright, and then let's say we want to create for this example a GBP, okay, for a Great Britain Pound GBP and just put here GBP for short form, alright? So let's say for example, if we know what's the exchange rate or we want to set up a standard exchange rate, we can actually put here 5.2 and 5.2, all right? If you have a uh, terms or you have a date range where you can actually set different currency, you can actually even put in the date range, all right? So you can say, okay, set from July up to 31st of July, we would like to use 5.2 then maybe later on we can change add additional rates at four different periods all right so once you're done you just press save okay so when it's done we just close this so now we are ready to create a customer or a supplier in gbp so let's say we can come in here customer maintain customer let's press new then we say uh, gbp pte ltd all right and then all you just need to do is you can come here currency you can select here gbp and then once we're done we just press save so now you have already created your gbp customer you can begin with your invoicing so you can come here to sales here come here to invoicing come here to new and then after that we can select our customer gbp so once you have the customer here you can actually see the exchange rate is picked up from the setting over there but of course, users can actually change this rate. Say, example, I want to put here 5.35, all right? This could be the rate that you agree with the bank or the standard rate for the day, all right? So you can actually key in and save that particular transaction. Let's say we press plus here. We select an item. And then we put here 1,000. So once you're here with 1,000 times 5.35, will actually give you the ringgit denomination, 5885, all right? So this is actually how easy it is to add different currencies in SQL accounting. Do leave a comment below if you'd like us to cover a different topic. Thanks!